Hello, my name is Matthew, and I'm going to show you a little bit about what the LessonsBase.com can do. I'm going to take you in quite a bit of detail through all the functionality that it that it has, and really what you can use to teach your students online. I'm going to import a zip, which I exported from the demo on the homepage LessonsBase.com, and I'm going to import that demo right now. The demo is a nice way to show you each sort of thing individually and what it all can do. Um, let me make myself a little bit smaller here. Um, and uh, that's a bit better. And we'll start off with maths, right? So teaching maths, we're using the whiteboard, right? If you add here, you can add a whiteboard, a document tab, or a code editor. And the whiteboard is really the place to draw. Um, why it works quite well for something like maths, for example, I could perhaps delete all of these images or these these um, the text and the lines. But this hasn't deleted. Sometimes it's not ideal to have something being able to be easily moved or deleted. I've locked this. So you can right click and lock and unlock items. And what we can do is we can say to our student using the text or why don't you write, why don't you draw y equals um, x plus 2. Now remember, I could invite a student to this, which I'll show you now, and they could be interacting with me, talking online. It's all built in, all the audio, all the video. Um, so they draw y equals x plus 2, and they could essentially draw it like with a straight line like that. Um, but they could also use some shortcuts where they hold down their, their mouse, and oh, sorry, they hold down their, um, their control and their shift, or the control and or their shift, to draw a straight line, as straight as they can do it. And they can see that it goes through the y equals 2 there, and there we have it. Um, and that is how we can use this whiteboard. So we got obviously the drawing tool. We can change colors for that. We can use the select to move things around. We obviously have an eraser where we can get rid of things. Uh, we have a couple of shapes. Again, with the shapes, you can draw like an ellipse here. But if you hold down control while you're drawing it, it will, it will lock into a perfect circle. You obviously have the text tool that I just showed you. And you can upload various things. So I'm going to upload a picture of a volcano. And this volcano then will get uploaded here, and I can use that as I want, um, or if I was teaching something on volcanoes, and we could draw on that. Let me get rid of these, and I'll show you one other thing. I've also locked uh, this here, which I will quickly unlock. Um, you can also delete to, to get rid of things. One thing I can do is I can screen grab. So for example, if I was battling with something, I could put that up here, and I could grab that on my screen over there. And that would very quickly, oh, grab that from my video, sorry, that would very quickly take a screenshot of what I've just shown my student and maybe they were trying to draw this y equals x plus 2 and they got it quite wrong where they thought it was the negative the negative 2 over there and I said no it was this 2 over here and then we redrew that and showed them that it was somewhat different uh, maybe in another color, color would look look better there over there perfect uh, again we recommend learning a couple of the short keys or the short keys to make a nice straight line through there one nice thing you can do, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to invite in the student. I'm going to put them on my same computer. Uh, I'm just going to do that for simplicity's sake. So what I'm going to look like is going to look like me teaching me. Where you can see me Yeah. Okay, so I have me here. Now what I can do is I can actually grab my guest video. So I can pull a screenshot of what my guest is showing, which is me in this case. And we can draw on that. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, you can have up to six people on there um, at the moment, with, with uh, not on the demo room. The demo room will, will limit you. Um, and then you can obviously add a grid, which is quite nice for, for maths. And there's a couple other things there. You can do screen sharing. I'm going to show you me sharing a screen right now. Here I am sharing my screen on the right. So there you can see that I'm now sharing my screen to my students. You don't need any plugins for that. Um, you can grab, a, so I can grab a shot of my video as well, which is quite nice, and that can sh pull in the screen directly from from the, that screen grab. And there is the screen grab. I got rid of that. So then there is uh, so screen sharing. I've shown you teaching language is quite nice for teaching languages. You might have something like a drag and drop, where a uh, let me stop. Sorry, sorry. Let me stop sharing that. Uh, stop that. There we go. Um, oh, we got in it. You would have seen there was an error that popped up in the top right there. We've got quite an advanced troubleshooting or self troubleshooting sort of uh, system where it makes it very easy for you to see where a student is battling. Often it's very tedious if you don't know if the student has a poor internet connection or if there's actually something wrong. So this will tell you exactly what the problem is 
and it might be the internet connection but it also might be something wrong that the student hasn't allowed their camera or their their mic is muted or something like this and it will actually tell you what it is uh, so here we have this thing where a student can drag these to the various things is quite nice for teaching kids uh, a language obviously a more, more older students can have more advanced where there's actually a text editor where you can write and you would see them typing similar to a Google Docs and you can render code which is quite nice with the HTML and CSS so my blog here we could write a maths blog and you can see that it will update on the on the right there to write maths blog um, so we can do a lot of things like like that um, we can import a PDF um, here we have a PDF I'm going to import a PDF of a business plan I've got my business plan here. You can cross tabs. And my business plan is just a PDF that I made, how to make a business plan. Uh, step one, we've got to do this. And we can all both draw on this. Step two, we got to, and then we're going to understand our audience and, and create an, idea, an ideal outcome um, of the business plan. So that's just really a rough overview of some of the things you can do that I thought I would share with you. Enjoy, and please shout if you have any questions.